energy when we say that a certain body has energy we mean that it has the ability of exerting force on another body and of doing work on it so if a body is having energy it can exert force on another body and due to that force that body will cover displacement and due to that work will be done on the other hand whenever we do work on a body we store in it an amount of energy equal to work done so whenever we apply force on an object and work is done on that object on that body so basically we apply some force due to the energy we store some energy on that body and that is equals to work done the energy is defined as the capacity of a body to do work or energy is an agent which causes some change in the state of system if a body is having energy it can cause some changes in the state of system because it can apply a force and due to that force a uh, state of that system can be changed kinetic energy we observe daily that as moving objects has the ability to push away another object at rest so if a moving object is coming towards the object at rest so the object at rest can be pushed away by moving object because that moving object is having some energy thus it is the capacity to work because of its motion due to the motion of object work is done on object at rest thus kinetic energy is defined as energy in the body due to its motion so that moving object is having energy and that is known as kinetic energy and due to this kinetic energy that moving object is able to push away another object that is at rest if m is mass of body and v is the velocity of body then kinetic energy is equals to half 1 by 2 mv square m is mass and v is velocity of moving object potential energy in daily life we see that if we lift a brick from ground to the top of a roof work is done against the force of gravity this appears as potential energy of the brick thus potential energy is defined as energy in a body due to its position with respect to surface of earth we are changing the position of brick with respect to earth and we are moving it upward and we are lifting the brick and due to this energy is stored in the brick and that stored energy is known as potential energy if m is mass g is the acceleration due to gravity and h is height of brick or body from surface of earth then potential energy is equals to m g h so from this formula we can calculate the potential energy thus dolphins has lot of kinetic energy as it leaves the water at its highest point its energy is mostly potential energy as shown in this figure so when the dolphin leaves the water it is having kinetic energy but when it is at the highest point then it has mostly potential energy implication of energy losses in practical devices and efficiency when we talk about ideal machine then we have no energy loss means total input or work done on that machine is converted into output and there is no loss of energy 
but when we talk about practical devices or practical machines then there are some energy losses the crane is a machine that is used in our daily life to lift heavy loads we are taking an example of machine that is crane and we use crane for lifting heavy loads the crane uses three simple machines it has a pulley lever as well as a wheel and axle cranes are used to lift heavy loads and we apply some work done some input on this machine and in result this machine gives some output and lift this heavy load suppose using a pulley if a weight w is raised when an effort or force e is applied when we apply force on that machine we say that force as effort we represent that force with effort e and in return we get output from the machine if a machine moves a load w through a distance h then the useful work done by the machine is called output so in output this load is covering distance h and we can lift this load having weight w so output done by machine is equals to load into distance h through which the load moves so load is having weight w and we know that that force into distance is known as work done so this work is done by that machine as output input we apply an effort force fn x through a distance dn then the work done on machine is called input input is equal to effort force that we apply on machine into effort distance and due to this effort force machine covers some distance so input is equals to f in into d in that is force into distance that is work and that is input efficiency of machine tells that how much efficient that machine is or how much input work done is converted into output work done by the help of that machine and in an ideal machine efficiency is 100% input work done is completely converted into output work done the energy provided as input is completely converted as output but in practical devices it is impossible and there are some energy loss losses efficiency the ratio of output to the input of a machine is called its efficiency so efficiency is equals to output work divided by input work mathematically as we know that output output work is equals to load force into load distance and input work is equals to effort force into effort distance and load force is represented by f sub out into load distance is represented by d into sub out and effort force is represented by f sub in and effort distance is represented by d sub in the equation for percentage efficiency is as we know that efficiency is normally taken in percentage so we can calculate percentage efficiency by just multiplying the efficiency with 100 percent and we get work done sub out w sub out divided by w sub n into 100 percent so by multiplying with 100 percent we get efficiency in percentage and by putting the formula of efficiency and multiplying it by 100 percent we get the percentage and percentage efficiency so percentage efficiency is equal to f sub out into d sub out divided by f sub in into d sub in into 
Even a very efficient device will waste some of its input energy in the form of heat due to the friction forces between different parts of machine. So in practical devices, in very efficient practical devices, there will be some loss of energy, some loss of energy because of friction and due to heat and some of input energy will be converted into heat. So there will be loss of some energy. An incline is used as a simple machine, which is a flat surface tilted at an angle theta. So incline is another example of simple machine. Efficiency of various practical devices is shown here and different practical devices are having different efficiency.